Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra Michelle, if you're new, and if not, welcome back to another vlog. So this week I'm actually headed on vacation. So I thought I would start the vlog a little bit early and do like a bit of a maintenance vlog. So I already got my hair done. Um, I did not curl it or flat iron or anything today, but I did get my hair done. <laughs> got my hair done a couple days ago. And right now I'm sitting out in front of my lash appointment. This will actually be my first time getting a full set of lash extensions. Um, I did go for, um, to help out a friend during her lash class like years ago, but she never finished the set. So this will be my first official time getting lash extensions. Um, so I'm super excited to try them. Um, I got here a little bit early, um, so I'm waiting to go in now. But I'm excited. Um, I think it's just going to be a little bit easier for me while I'm on vacation. So I'm excited for that. I'm going to try to get a nail appointment for tomorrow. Um, I just got my nails done last week. So they really aren't that bad. But I'm going on vacation. So I want to try to get a feel if I can. <laughs> so I also have that plan. But yeah, so right now I'm going to go in because I want to use the bathroom before we start. I don't want to be late for my first appointment. <laughs> So I'm super excited. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm going to be showing you guys some of my travel tips and things that I've purchased for my international flight. And I'll let you guys know where I'm going very, very soon. I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me. And you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on. guys could see i just finished my nails my eyelashes i got them done yesterday i didn't brush them out yet um but i love them they're super cute um yeah so i got my hair done check lashes done check and just finished getting my nails done you can see them yeah so this is called a uh, pumpkin latte it's a nice cute little fall color now i am headed home to finish up packing the boys stuff and i might take some stuff over to my mom's house today so we're now have to take everything over tomorrow um yeah so running a couple more errands then heading home finish up packing also i didn't mention yet but today is um my husband and i's eighth wedding anniversary yay so that's why we are going on the somebody trying to creep up on me um but yeah so the reason why we are headed out of town is to celebrate our anniversary so today we are going to celebrate with the kids before we leave tomorrow we're gonna head to dinner tonight um with the kiddos and yeah then we'll be on a flight tomorrow to go celebrate for the rest of the weekend into the next week and so i'm super excited about that we exchanged gift this gifts this morning so I will insert a few clips of the gift exchange. Um, I decided to go a little more sentimental this year. So I created um, a little, uh, we have a digital album of our wedding, but we never printed out pictures or anything like that. So I went ahead and created uh, a paper album book situation um, and went ahead and presented that to him. 
and then I also picked him up some clothing items and he got me some great perfumes that I've been wanting but have not been able to get my hands on as well as some other items so I will insert a clip of our gift exchange and then I'll come back Today is officially our anniversary. Vacation tomorrow and we're opening his gifts. I already opened mine. I'll show you guys what I got later. So good. The, the thing and they didn't have it when we went last time. Oh, wow. Let me see. I finally did our photo album from our wedding. Eight years later. <laughs> wow. You had to go through all the pictures. And that's why when you saw me in the corner on my computer and hiding my computer, that's what I was doing. I'm just going to show you guys really quickly. Uh, so the first thing that I got is from YSL. And of course, I already unboxed these items. I'm just showing you guys. This cute little YSL um, brooch. I'm gonna actually pack this with me. So I just wanted to show you guys before we left. It's super cute, gold detailing. I'm excited to wear it. So we got that. Also got uh, the Travel Size FN Fabulous Tom Ford perfume. It smells so good. I wore it yesterday, it smells so good. So I'm gonna be packing this as well. He also got the Tom Ford Bitter Peach. I've been looking for this for, I feel like, a year now. <laughs> and so he finally found it for me, and I'm so excited to wear this. But this is um, not travel size, so I'm not going to bring this one with me. But actually, I think this is travel size. It's 1.7. Yeah, I could take it with me, but I think I'm just going to take the and Fabulous. But so excited. I might wear it today. Hmm. It smells so good. And then from Louis Vuitton, he also got me these cute little earrings. Hold on. Okay, so he also got me these cute little Louis Vuitton hoops. I love them so much. They're so cute and dainty. I'm going to take these with me as well <laughs> because they will pair beautifully with some of my outfits. And I just love them so much. They're so cute. Gold, my favorite. So these were my anniversary gifts. Yes, so I loved everything that my husband got me. And we're also planning to shop till we drop uh, on our trip. Um, so I'm super excited about that as well. Um, but yeah, so now I'm headed to finish these errands and then I'm going to head back home so that I can finish up before we go to dinner tonight. So yeah, this vlog pretty much is my maintenance and then I'm also going to take you guys along with us as we prepare for the trip and probably some of travel hacks that I have come across. I purchased a lot of cute little items to help make our trip a little bit more comfortable. It is an international flight. It's a 10 hour, um, it's a 10 hour flight, um, no layover. So we're gonna be on the plane for a while. So um, I did my research on some things that will make our trip a little bit more pleasant. Um, Chai looked up the first class tickets, $30,000. I said, no, thank you. <laughs> so we will not be flying first class for this trip maybe sometime in the future but not now so <laughs> i um i said i wanted to make it as comfortable as possible so i went ahead and purchased some items for that so i will show you guys those items when i get home okay let's let me focus on driving hey guys so we just arrived to benihana to today it's mommy and daddy's anniversary and <laughs> And we're at at a restaurant for mommy and daddy's an, an, an anniversary. Yes, very good. Don't mind his face. That's Vaseline. So yes, we're here with the kiddos to have dinner with them for our anniversary. And we're at Benihana. And yeah, yeah. got anything to say, babe? I'm hungry. <laughs> I know. We totally forgot to eat today, so... 
Yeah, we're ready to get some good eats. We didn't even have Let's any go. breakfast. Let's you go. You did. You had breakfast, lunch, and a snack. We're the only ones that didn't eat. The kids ate, of course. <laughs> For dessert, ice cream. What kind of ice cream? <clears throat> Chocolate. Yum. Now we're headed home. Good morning. So we are rushing to get ready to leave for our vacation, but I just want to show you guys some things really quickly that I purchased for the trip to make traveling a little bit more comfortable. I was telling you guys about this previously in the vlogs. So I'm going to show you really quick what I picked up. So the first thing is this pocket size travel phone holder. Um, this is perfect for the airplane if you don't want to have to hurt your neck like looking down at your phone. It actually clips to the back of the um, tray table like so. So I will show you guys once I get on the plane how I hook it up and everything. But I thought this was really cool gadget. It just slips right in my purse and I can watch movies or whatever on the plane. So that's the first item. And all the items that I show will be linked below. This next item is a little caddy for your, um, the handle of your suitcase. So I'll show you guys once I use it, but it has two, two sides for your drinks. And then it also has, let me open it up. Okay, yeah. So it has two sides for two water bottles. And then it also has a pocket here where you can put your passport, ID, um, whatever, so that you can easily grab your items. And then this just slips onto the, um, it slips onto the handle of your luggage. So I will show you guys how that looks once I attach this as well. And this last thing is a travel um, pillow and I won't take it out right now because like I said we're getting ready to go but once I get on the plane and I blow it up I will show you guys but this is an ergonomic pillow it allows you to sleep forward um, so um, it's supposed to be more comfortable if you have a middle seat or you don't have anywhere to lean and you're doing a long international flight this is supposed to be uh, provide you with more comfort so I will show you guys how this looks but it comes in this little case and inside it also has um, an eye patch, not eye patch. <laughs> it has an eye cover, hold on one second. So this is basically what the pillow looks like so that you can use it laying forward, face forward, down, um, or just rest your chin um, on the top of it. Um, it inflates very quickly. So here are the instructions and it also comes with um, eye covering as well as earplugs so all of this will be linked below hey guys so we made it in the car we got all of our stuff packed up we're headed to lax because we are going to london, london. going to london and then we're up from london we're going to take the train to perry so we're super excited um unfortunately the queen passed away so it's gonna make 
like an interesting trip to London. They did cancel one of our tours, but sure it's still gonna be great. We're gonna have a great time. We're just gonna be our own little tour guides um, and you know have a great time. So there's gonna be a lot of people in London for the funeral. The funeral is actually gonna be while we're there. So <laughs> So a couple of things that we won't be able to <laughs> experience. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a couple of things we won't be able to experience while we're there because of this unfortunate passing. But there's still plenty of things to do. So uh, we're still excited to go. Uh, we touch down in London first. We'll be there for a day and then we'll go take the train to Petty. And I'm so excited to see all that Paris has to offer, taste some good wine, have a croissant and a macaroon. Oh, we gotta touch up on our French because I've been on TikTok and the girls on TikTok say that if you wanna have a better experience with the French, learn the language as much as you can. So, you know, common words and phrases. Merci. Merci. Um, bonjour, all that, you know. Just the greetings, like, no, the, <laughs> we're gonna brush, time. yeah, we're gonna, gonna I'm with you, yeah, we have not studied, okay, but, um, yeah, the advice was to brush up on your friends, we'll be right back, yeah, Brandon had a business call, a couple, um, but yeah, so we're headed to the airport now, we're really excited to get there, um, the flight is 10 hours, um, but it's a direct flight, so, Everything should be fine. We've got all of our goods, our snacks. Um, right. So, yeah, and we're here early and put plenty of time um, to get through customs. And we'll have the customs right now, right? Yeah. Oh, get through customs. <laughs> it's been a while, okay? Um, so, yeah, I, once we get on the plane and get all set up, I will show you guys. Um, our my little setup with my pillow and everything also just in case this works out i'm going to tell you guys the hack so we heard about a hack where when you fly internationally if you want to have some extra space when you book your your uh your flight and you pick your seats pick the, if you're traveling with two people pick the two outer seats so an aisle and a window or two aisle seats and leave the middle seat empty because when uh, solo travelers fly, they're least likely to pick a middle seat. So if it's not a completely booked uh, flight, you may end up not having anyone in that middle seat. And if somebody does take the middle seat, you can always offer them the aisle or what have you. So this will give us a better opportunity to have more space. So we'll see if it works. It's our first time trying it out and we'll see if it works, okay? So we'll see you at the airport. So we're headed to our gate. We just got a little snack and extra food for the flight because we don't know what the in-flight food is going to be looking like or tasting like. <laughs> if there is any. Right. I think when I read the thing, I think it said that there was like dinner and breakfast or something, but we'll see. We had a little margarita. Tastes like lemonade. $40. <laughs> but we're on our way. So excited. Well, I have two personal items. I think it'll pass as a baby belly. 